Intel is the world leader in silicon photonics, but Intel didn't have a integrated laser source on wafer. We're an expert in bonding and pre-5 materials, and by combining these together, we can make complete photonic integrated circuits on one wafer. Silicon has an indirect band gap. That means when you apply current to it, you get out phonons, heat, rather than photons. 3.5 devices, like indium guy marsonide phosphide lasers, give out light photons instead of heat. But intrinsically, it's very difficult to make a, a laser in silicon. Um, Intel moved this problem forward somewhat, along with other groups around the world, when they produced a uh, continuous wave Raman laser. And this has lifted the, the research field. Nevertheless, the ideal solution would be an electrically pumped silicon laser. People have tried for many years to put 3.5 materials on silicon. The problem with direct epitaxial growth of 3.5 material on silicon is that you get dislocations that propagate into the film and limit its reliability. The biggest problem we've had to overcome is how do we bond indium phosphide with silicon photonics. And with this recent development, we've overcome that problem. Here we've taken these two materials separately and through a unique process that was developed at University of California in Santa Barbara with a low temperature plasma enhanced oxidation process, we've actually been able to bond these two materials and the sum of that bond created this hybrid silicon laser. This hybrid silicon laser solved the most vexing problem of creating a laser on silicon by using indium phosphide as the gain medium to emit the light and the silicon to provide the mirrors and the routing on a low loss, low cost platform. The work that Intel have been doing uh, has had a real impact on the, the field of silicon photonics. They've made a whole series of uh, big steps forward in terms of uh, technology. And this has really lifted the whole profile of the field and has also moved the field technologically forward. The performance of the laser that has been announced is truly outstanding. Back in the beginning, 30, 40 years ago, when the first semiconductor lasers were invented, it took years before they could get room temperature operation and having a milliwatt of light come out in a continuous wave fashion. Essentially, that's what the Intel UC Santa Barbara collaboration has produced, is a milliwatt of power at room temperature and not being pulsed but continuous wave. It's practically ready to be used. 